JetBlue has started commercial service between New York and Havana, Cuba. And we all know that many of you out there are itching to get down to explore Cuba. But what should you be going to see when you're there? I've got Vito Echeverria here with us on the show. It's great to have you here. Pleasure. Talk to us about some of the things that people should see when they're down there. I mean, you know, it's like a time capsule, right? It's a chance exactly for people right. to travel back. Yeah, I mean, it's a living 1950s capsule. I mean, that's the main appeal uh, in terms of visiting Havana. This explains why, you know, you have uh, people like Vin Diesel doing films there right now. And also Michael Bay uh, did this Transformers uh, film there recently. You know, you have all these 1950s American cars buzzing around in and out of the streets of Havana. Like, it's a, a film set, basically. Yeah, yeah. and there's an art scene down there. Yes, really? a very active art scene uh, that's been happening for a number of years uh, because of the tourist influx. Um, the irony with Cuba is you can make more money as an artist than as a doctor. Um, so because of that reality, you know, you have a thriving art scene, especially in the old section of Havana. I mean, a growing number of art galleries are popping up all over the place. Well, it, it's all about the experience down there. And one of the things that I heard about are the bed and breakfasts that are down there, that it's, yes. it doesn't have to be an expensive trip, but you really can experience and be immersed in the Cuban culture. Exactly. What's happened is that the government itself has created a network of bed and breakfast units. I mean, there are literally thousands of them at this point in Havana and also the other major cities uh, in Cuba. What Airbnb did basically was tap into that pre-existing network and just put listings there. I mean, obviously the travel agency that I'm affiliated with, which is Travolucion, uh, dot com. Uh, we've also tapped into that network as well to offer that to, uh, you know, our travelers. So, uh, you know, it's you can just get right in there and actually stay in an. Well, you mentioned an area. Yes. About um, yes. a little while ago, you know, you he and I had a little talk. <laughs> right. We were in the Miramar. Yeah. Well, the last time I was in Havana, which was last month, I stayed in the Miramar section of Havana, which is a lethe diplomatic suburb, if you will, of the city. And I managed to get an entire apartment there. I mean, I went on Airbnb just to see how their network, how their system worked. And instead of the usual bed and breakfast, which consists of a room, basically, I got an entire apartment there for $35 a night. See, Amazing. That's, that's, that's the coolest thing. I think people, yes. they think that if you're going there as a tourist, that you have to stay in one of these resorts. You really get to experience it. Yeah, I mean, the whole appeal uh, with Obama's policy toward Cuba is the whole people to people thing. I mean, obviously, when you check off the affidavit in terms of why you're going to Cuba in the first place, because we have one to 12 legitimate reasons that we can go there. Uh, obviously, the category in which any ordinary American can check off is people to people. All that really means is you're spending your money with the locals, you know, whether it's taxis, whether it's the bed and breakfast or the so-called home restaurants, which are known in Spanish as paladares. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, besides cigars, yeah. what are some of the things that um, people can go there and pr maybe buy or just enjoy something they've got to experience? People should look at the calendar uh, before visiting Havana because there's always something new happening there. Like, for example, if, if you go in November and if you're, let's say, a, a marathon runner, uh, Havana, believe it or not, has its own marathon, which takes place a few weeks after the New York marathon. So you have a number of both international as well as local runners that take part in that, and they transverse through the Malecon, which is a seaside boulevard, Havana, the Plaza de la Revolución, you know, and the other parts of the city there. So it gives you a unique perspective on simply being there. Um, if you go in December, you have the Havana Film Festival. Um, this time around, you're going to have Oliver Stone uh, promoting uh, his new film, Snowed, in there. If you go in February, you have the Abanos Cigar Festival. Wow, right? I'm yeah. telling you, there's so many things to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, Vito, thank you. I'm going to be calling you because I'm heading down. Definitely. Okay? I Pleasure. Appreciate you.